I want to talk about the CAP program as we start jumping into some of these initiatives that you outlined. It's going to be uh, reskinned almost as the meritorious advancement program. I understand that's to kind of focus on that it's for the best and brightest, and it's going to expand to include uh, shore sailor COs having that option to advance their sailors. What is the goal behind that change? Well, it's, it's to bring up the very best of our sailors, to advance them meritoriously, to not wait until they'd spend a certain time there. And it's also going to give commanding officers the ability to, uh, <clears throat> if they don't have enough of these slots, to ask for more. And if they don't have sailors that they want to advance, to give back some of these slots so that we can move them to other places in the fleet. But it's to get our best, our brightest, our fastest risers, and to promote them meritoriously and not to wait, as I said, based on time and grade, based on tests, based on things like this, but it's to get them at the level of responsibility that they're ready to assume. Also, well, I know that some of the sailors definitely wanted that, on, at least on the shore command, some of the feedback we get is that they want to be a part of the CAP program too or be looked at. Well, as important as that program was at sea, it's equally important on shore, and there was no reason to have that, uh, that dividing line. If you were on shore, you can be doing a great job and you need to be meritoriously promoted.